So the next video that I'm going to show you is for kinesiology tape application for the knee for tendinopathy of the knee or bursitis of the knee. You're going to need three bits of tape. So you've got two of these, two of the large eye strips. So this one's about five squares on the back if you have that on the back of your tape. Make sure to round the edges off of your tape. Two of those. And then you've got a smaller eye strip. So this one's a two square. If you have the, the squares on the back, again, round the edges off. Okay, so initially we're gonna bend the knee to 90 degrees, so put that into 90 degrees flexion. You're gonna grab the first eye strip, which is that smaller two, two square eye strip, rip that in the middle and you peel it back to both sides, again not touching the ends of the tape. So I've exposed the tape like that. This is going to go across your tibial tuberosity. So find the kneecap, go over it and you'll feel a slight dip. And then you'll feel a bit of a bony part at the top of your shin. That's your tibial tuberosity. So this is where the first piece of tape is going to go. So we stretch that to 100% and then back to 50 and I'm just going to place that down, no stretch on the ends of the tape. That's so there's not too much tension in it and it just kind of pings off. Same with the other side. Give that a bit of a rub, just to warm that glue up. Okay, then we grab our second longer piece of eye strip. This one's going to come from roughly about the middle of your quad. So the front of your thigh is going to come around the inside of your knee and then it's going to be placed on that tibial tuberosity again. So this time we peel it back from the end, expose the end, but don't touch the tape. So it's going to come around this side. So you place it roughly in the, the centre of our thigh to start with. No stretch on the end of the tape, remember. Pin and then pull the tape just to expose, and then go all the way to the other end of the tape. Now I'm gonna feed this around the inside of my knee, and this has got about 25% stretch on. Now, when I get to the kneecap, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit more. So we're gonna go 100%, back off to about 50%, and then I place that around onto that tibial tuberosity. Again, we just warm up the tape, activate that glue, and we grab our second eye strip. And then we're basically going to do exactly the same thing, but we're going to go from the top, that middle part of the thigh, around the, the outside of our knee. So peeling the tape back, bring it back. It's exactly the same, so don't touch the end of the tape. No stretch on the end of the tape, remember, place that down, get a pin the tape and then pull it back. So again, about two to three centimetres from the end of the tape. Exactly the same as before, so we put about 25% stretch to the outside of our knee, then we're going to pin it, we're going to go 100%, back off to 50%, so we've got slightly more stretch as we go around the outside of the knee and then we place that down onto that tibial tuberosity give it a rub just to warm that glue up and you're done so again when I stand up I have a slight crinkling on the knee so that is kinesiology tape in application for patellar tendinopathy or bursitis.